Hey, Joey Kissimmee here, and welcome to TimelineSlicerPro.com. The Timeline Slicer Pro is a simple and easy to use app that helps you slice and dice images on the fly and that will fit perfectly in your Facebook timeline. I created this app because I know many people don't have access to tools like Photoshop, which can cost an arm and a leg, GIMP, which can be frustrating to learn, or any of those similar types of tools. Now I want to show you real quick how easy and simple it is to use the Timeline Slicer Pro. Now as I said before, this is a simple and easy app to use. It's got three basic areas here and the first is obviously the cover area. And this is probably the one that most people are having trouble with right now. The second is the profile pic. And the third is the thumbnail images for your apps. So basically what the Timeline Slicer Pro does is that it slices and dices images from each of these areas here to the exact sizes and specs that the Facebook timeline requires. You can also upload multiple images, resize them, crop them, add text, change fonts, background colors, and more. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now you can add images to the slicer in two different ways. You can either click on the add image button here and just go ahead and open up the folder and choose your desired image and click on open. And that there's uh, me and my son just having a good old day. His name is Maximus. Or you can either drag and drop one or multiple images like I'm doing here. Okay. So once you got your desired images up uploaded, you're ready to start playing with it. Just go ahead and, and put the images wherever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first picture here, which is Maximus Pointin. And I want to add them over here. But you notice that the image is a little bit too big here. So I want to crop that down just a bit. Go ahead and click on the cropping tool and size them up to the way I want to and I think that's a good fit right there. Go ahead and crop it and that's it. The, the slicer will automatically slice and dice uh, the image for you. So let's go ahead and move them back over here. Okay. Now this guy here, I'm going to go ahead and put them right down here where the apps uh, for the thumbnails. Just size them up to a good little size. Oops. Sorry about that. Good little size there. And I think he's uh, let me just couple right there and I think he's happy right there now this guy here I'm gonna go ahead and put him right down here and use him for the profile so let's go ahead and resize that image to a good fit so it could fit inside the profile pic area and I think he's happy right there and then right here where I'm uh, just playing around with super max I'm gonna go ahead and flip him over on this side and uh, yeah I think I like that there so let's go ahead and move them a little bit over here to make room for some text. So as you can see, I already have some text in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and move that text to the front, like so. All right, move that guy over here to the to the top left corner. Resize him just a little bit right there. Go ahead and move and drag him a little bit more. Then I'm going to go ahead in here and just type in uh, father and son. That's good. Right so I'm going to go ahead and choose a different, uh, one of my favorite um, fonts, which is Ancient Gothic or Ancient German Gothic. And I kind of like that one there. Let's go ahead and make that guy a little bit bigger right there. Now we're going to go ahead and change the font color so it can match uh, or you can be able to see it because we're going to go ahead and change the background in just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and do it like so. And I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and change the background color to make the, all this image or this entire image look uniform. So we're going to go ahead and click on the color wheel here. And I think that's a perfect uh, fit right there. And I think that's it right there. As you can see how easy and simple it was to do. It didn't take me too long. I uploaded multiple images, resized, cropped, even added some uh, some text here, change the background color. I mean, you could do so much with this thing here. Now, all we got to do here is just go ahead and either click on these uh, buttons here individually to download each uh, section individually, or you can just go ahead and click on the download all button to download the entire file. This here is going to pop up. Just go ahead and click on OK, save the file to whatever folder that you want, and you're pretty much done. Now we're ready to go ahead and upload your images to your Facebook timeline. And to do this is real simple. Just head on over to your personal Facebook uh, timeline. This here is one of my personal ones. This is my entire family, my beautiful wife, and my beautiful three children. 
and we're going to go ahead and change the cover image on this one. And to do that, just go ahead and, and hover over the cover image. This here is going to pop up and just go ahead and click on upload a photo. Find a folder that you just downloaded. Uh, click on cover.png. Click on open and wait for it to upload. Now make sure you don't do anything here but click on save changes. You don't want to do anything else. Now we're ready to do the profile pic and you do the same thing. You hover over it, click on upload photo, click on profile.png and then you just click on open to upload that particular photo. Now we're going to go ahead and do the thumbnail apps here. Now to do this all you got to do is click on this little arrow then click on the pencil icon and then click on edit settings. Now this is quite a, a few steps here so bear with me. This is going to pop up here just click on changes for custom tab image click on change again and now you're going to browse uh, for your thumbnails and whatever thumbnail you want to put there that's the one you choose then you're going to go ahead and click on uh, the home page and that's pretty much it you should see all the changes done instantly and that's how simple and easy it is to use the timeline slicer pro you can use this app for your personal profile page your business page fan page or if you have a business dealing with private clients and their business pages you can use this for that too the point here is that i created the timeline slicer pro for everyone and anyone who wants to spiff up their timeline pages like a pro without having to spend a ton of time and money on getting someone else to do it for you or learning how to use some crazy expensive tool. Now to get instant access to this powerful tool all I'm asking for is a simple tiny small donation and that's just to help cover the cost of maintenance and hosting for the Timeline Slicer Pro. Your donation will also help with future development of the app to keep improving and adding new features that will make the Timeline Slicer Pro bigger and better. And to show my appreciation, I'm also going to give you 40 pre-designed custom cover templates that you can use for your timeline pages absolutely free. This is a $197 value and it's yours free. So that's pretty much it here with the Timeline Slicer Pro. I hope you enjoy this tool. I know you're going to have a ton of fun with it. With that said, I thank you so very much. This is Joey Kissimmee. Peace and I love you for free.